Hi guys, so you're welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking. My name is Bukumi. So, then legacy of the prophets that shocked the world. So, let's check it out. Prophets and messengers sent on earth to perfect the creed and morals of mankind. However, the compilation of these prophets has now passed. Some findings reveal that the prophets and apostles left a trace of history through their relics, which still exist today. So what are the relics of the prophets? The following are 10 discoveries that are believed to be the relics of the prophets and apostles who were sent to this earth. See the full review only on the Islamic Circles channel. The first, the former robe of the prophet Muhammad. Although we never met him physically, everyday Muslims around the world continue to pray, say his name, and recognize him as the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Indeed, the physical Prophet Muhammad can no longer be seen. However, his existence for Muslims is so real through the relics of his teachings and hadith. The relics of the Prophet Muhammad on this one are Gamas clothes, which are now neatly stored in the Turkish Takapi Museum. These items can give an idea of how the Prophet lived at that time. The robe that he often wears is really simple, and hopefully, with this collection, it will increase our longing for the Prophet Muhammad Shallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The second, the soles of the feet of the Prophet Muhammad, who was imprinted with stone. Prophet Muhammad is a prophet and the last apostle for Muslims. Prophet Muhammad is the noblest man on this earth. He was sent by Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala to broadcast the religion of Islam. According to the Hadith, narrated by Imam Ibn Ishaq from Sayyidina Ibn Abbas, the Prophet was born in Mecca on a quiet night on Monday, 12 Rabi'ul Wal, the year of the elephant dot, and died in Medina on June 8, 632 AD. Until the end of time, the Prophet Muhammad is always remembered, with many discoveries of the relics of the Prophet Muhammad stored in the Takapi Palace in Istanbul, Turkey. One of them is the sole of the foot of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The sole of the right foot was printed during the Miraj event, while the sole of his left foot is stored in the Al-Aqsa Mosque. The third, the key to the Kaaba. Takapi Palace, Turkey is a museum of relics of the prophets. The most important and historic collections in Islam are stored in a room called the Pavilion of the Holy Mantle and Holy Relics. The relics include the keys of the Kaaba, gold gutters, Kiswa, and so on. The Kaaba itself is a very sacred building and the most important for Muslims. The tribes of Banu Shiba were given the keys to the holy site by the Prophet Muhammad. And this task has been carried out by generations of Banu Shiba until now. The key to the Kaaba has a container in the form of a green bag and is embroidered with gold-colored threads. This key is made of iron material and is 35 centimeters long. But until now, the key to the Kaaba has taken on a different shape according to the times. Replica of the Kaaba key made of pure gold, kept by the Arab Kingdom, or the oldest member of Bani Shiba. The fourth, Palace of the Prophet Dodd. In Islam, Christianity, and Judaism, Prophet Dodd is famous for fighting Goliath, Aka Goliath, which in the end, the battle was won by the Prophet Dodd. An archaeology study found evidence that the kingdom of the prophet Dog once ruled in the area of Israel. After winning the battle, the prophet Dog became the king of Israel. The relics are part of the events in the Bible, which are considered to be from Dog kingdom. Some clues have been found around the ruins, for example, animal bones and ceramic remains, which can be used for carbon dating. 
But to this day, the existence of the so-called kingdom of the prophet Dawud is still a matter of great debate throughout the world. The fifth, the staff of prophet Musa alayhi salam. In the story of prophet Musa, peace be upon him, we know that Allah gave him a miracle, a wooden stick. It was through this stick that the prophet Moses defeated Pharaoh and split the Red Sea into a road so that the people of the children of Israel could pass. The existence of the stick not only invites curiosity from Muslims, but also from Christians and Jews. This is the legacy of the prophet Moses, peace be upon him. Everything that happens on this earth has been arranged in accordance with the decree of Allah, and it is fitting that mankind should be ready to face Pharaoh in this era, despite all the threats from the enemies of Islam. The Six, The Invention of Noah's Botter Noah in Islam is the third prophet after Prophet Adam and Prophet Edris. Noah is the ninth descendant of Prophet Adam. Peace be upon him. Noah was appointed a prophet around 3650 BC. Noah is an apostle who is told in the Torah, al kitab and the Quran. The remains of Noah's boat were found at an altitude of 13,000 feet, or about 3.9 km, on a mountain in Turkey. This group of researchers from China, who are members of Noah's Ark Ministries International, managed to find the remains of Noah's boat on Mount Ararat, Turkey. These researchers also managed to get into the boat and take photos from several sides. The Seven the Ark of the Covenant of Prophet Moses. The Biblical Archaeologists Search Institute or Bees, based in the United States announce that its research has allegedly discovered the location of the biblical relic, which contains the Ten Commandments of God revealed to the Prophet Moses. The Ark of the Covenant of Moses is considered by some to be the greatest mystery of all hidden treasures. According to archaeologists, the Book of the Ark of the Covenant of Moses was first sent to Egypt, then later brought to Ethiopia. The Ark of the Covenant was a chest made by craftsmen from Bezalel. It was made of acacia wood and lined with gold. And he said, Whoever manages to find the Ark of the Covenant, then their majesty and glory will return, and can rule the world. The Eighth, The Discovery of Parts of the Pharaoh's Chariot in the Red Sea The story of the miracle of the prophet Moses, who split the Red Sea with his staff to avoid the pursuit of Pharaoh and his army, is certainly no stranger to our ears. An archaeologist named Ron Wyatt stated in 1998 that he'd have found several wrecks of ancient chariot wheels at the bottom of the Red Sea. According to him, maybe this is the carcass of the Pharaoh's battle chariot, which sank in the Red Sea when pursuing the prophet Moses and his followers. In addition to finding the wrecks of chariot wheels, Ron Wyatt also found several human bones and horse bones in the same place. This discovery strengthens the evidence of the allegation that the remains of the bones are part of the skeletons of the Pharaoh's soldiers, who drowned in the Red Sea. And the bones are reported to be about 3,500 years old. Pharaoh's chariot is seen at the bottom of the Red Sea, with the chariot standing and covered by coral. If the coral is dismantled and examined closely, the wheels of the pharaoh's chariot will be clearly visible. This is truly a very historic discovery. The Ninth, The Sword of the Prophet Muhammad This object, in the form of a sword, is a weapon that was often used by the Prophet Muhammad when fighting his enemies in several places. The most popular is al mathurs sword, the sword he had before receiving the first revelation in Mecca. The length is about 100 centimeters, and the handle is made of gold in the shape of two snakeheads. This is his legacy sword, which is museumized in the Takapi Museum in Istanbul, Turkey. The 10th, Borobudur Temple. When you hear the phrase Borobudur Temple, 
You might feel a little confused. Is it true that the Prophet Sulaiman was revealed in Indonesia? If we look at the history of Borobudur Temple, which is reported as a relic of the Prophet Sulaiman, here are the facts. Gyai Haji Fami Beja, an Islamic mathematician, has found the historical facts. Fami Beja said the name of Prophet Sulaiman himself has shown the name like the Javanese, Indonesia, which begins with the letter SU. Of the 25 prophets, only Prophet Sulaiman, whose name begins with SU. In addition, the country of Sabah, as mentioned in the Quran, is in Indonesia, namely Winobo. The unfinished building by this craftsman, because knowing Sulaiman died in Borobudur, there is an unfinished building. The gathering place of the Queen of Sabah and many more. This is not something many people believe, but that goes back to each of you. This is all we can say. Hopefully this video is useful for all of you. Thank you. This is really shocking. The fit aspects came to me as a shock that it, you can even find it in the museum. They kept it, you know. This is really mind blowing just to see all these amazing things being kept centuries after. You can imagine the stick Abraham used to divide the Red Sea, the Noir Ark. It's just amazing, guys. And the rope of Prophet Muhammad is really shocking to know that it's been kept after centuries, after so many years. Amazing. This was so beautiful to watch, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.